Now let's go ahead and add a draw button so that we can actually post this data to our draw page. And I'm going to start with poker code. And in my show content, here's where I show the hand. And I'm also going to show a draw button. And that doesn't need to take any parameters. So I'm going to start with a div box. And I'm going to call this the info box. And it's either going to hold a draw button on the main page or it's going to hold information about the hand on the draw page. And let's close that box off. And then inside the box, the actual button itself is going to be a span with some style information. So I'm going to put an ID on here for draw button. And then the text is just going to be the word draw and close off that span. So let's go ahead and reload, make sure everything is still working. Great, so I have my draw button. Now let's go ahead and style it so it looks like a button. And on this info box, I'm going to go ahead and center the text. And then on the draw button, let's go ahead and make the background color be red and the text color be white. And let's go ahead and use a font. And I'm going to use sans serif. And let's go ahead and use impact charcoal sans serif. Then let's put some padding around it so that it looks button, looks more buttony. So padding, and let's go 5, actually 10px, 5px, 10px, and 5px. So it'll Pad less on the top and bottom and more side to side. That might be backwards. Let's go ahead and reload and see what we got so far. Okay, so I think I probably wanted to do that the other way. Let's try 5 and 10. 5 and 10. Nope. I was right the first time. So let's try 10, 5, 10, 5. And let's also make the font size bigger. So let's go 3Ms. Okay. And to make it look like a button, let's go ahead and round it. And let's go ahead and try a 10 pixel border radius. Okay, so that looks like a button. Now we need to move it down some so it's not here, not right up against here. So let's go ahead and add the hand padding to the info div as well.
good. So that looks reasonable. Actually, I think I did like it 5 and 10 before. Hold on. See, this is why you want to have constants for these things, so that you don't have to keep changing the style sheet over and over again. Okay, so that looks good. Now, um, when I'm hovering over here, I actually want to use a pointer, and I want to use a pointer for these cards as well, because they're going to be clickable later on. So let's go ahead and add cursor colon pointer here. And I'm also going to add that to my button. And now I get the little pointer hand when I'm on the card or on the button. And then the last thing I want to do is when the user clicks on this, I want it to actually submit the form to go to the draw page. And so I'm going to use a little JavaScript to do that. And right in my init method, I'm going to add in a event listener for click to my button. So var draw button is equal to document.get element by id draw button and then draw button dot add event listener for click and then when the user clicks, let's call submit form. So let's write the submit form function. And the first thing we want to do is get the form. So the form has to have an ID on it. So let's go ahead and add an ID to this form. Let's call that draw form. And then in my JavaScript, I'm going to start by saying draw form is document .get element by ID draw form. And then to actually do the submit, I just say draw form dot submit. And that should be it. Let's go ahead and see what we get. So draw and it transitioned to the next page. Let's actually see if we got all the right data here. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload. Let's go back and try this again. Get rid of that. Go to the network tab and hit draw. So here's the page I just loaded and I used post method. And then let's take a look at the data, let's see if we got everything. So here's the form data. We have the hand data, the deck, and the five cards. So we got all our data on the other side. Let's do something with it. So I'm going to go to this draw.php and this is wrong. This should be poker constants. But let's go ahead and I'm going to start by copying this stuff here. So let's just start from here. So all the HTML, closing off the island in the HTML. And then to get the deck, I'm going to say deck is equal to dollar sign under post sub deck key. But this is encoded, so I need to decode it. And first, I need to URL decode this. And then I need to JSON decode that. And this should give me back a deck array. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the hand. So 
So if I've done that correctly, the hand that gets displayed here should actually be the same as the hand that I submitted. Let's get rid of this output form here. And because we don't need it on this page, let's go ahead and reload. Continue. So here's what I had on the draw page. Here's what I had on the index page. So I have the same hand. And if I reload and hit draw, I have the same hand on the other side. So that means the form is working correctly.